When the shark swam between us in Daytona, my awe was absolute. I watched with no sense how terrific what slipped itself in that moment through my sense of water, capture. It threaded through time, through the ocean like a stitch. Your mother had not yet taught me to quilt. My glee, I knew myself as I stood in it, up to my chest and gorgeous threat that close, I did not look for parallels. I watched as grateful for eyes as I was for you. I kept my eyes fixed on it. Did you see it? It disappeared even as I said it, as I watched and asked, the shark suddenly invisible, gone, nearby, somewhere. When I looked up, you disappeared as well. For a long moment, I stood alone in the Atlantic. Love, it makes for both a good story and a good memory now. How focused I stayed on its twist and fin, how close enough to us it was to question myself. You saw it. When I looked up, I heard you shouting from shore. And how was that possible? As though you'd levitated or teleported yourself from one point to the other. When I noticed the shark, you had been chest deep farther out than I was. You had been, and I heard nothing but the sound of water and my own wonder as you fled. Um, I was born on July the 6th, 1971. Answer. Answer. That's right. <laughs> Louis Armstrong died on July the 6th, 1971. Passing Satch. A puddle of blue Windex on glass, white with a paper towel, streaks a clarinet sound. The means by which we travel are strange. I hear cleaned glass in the tone gliding behind your gruff rasp on my morning drive to work, autumn in New York, a bright window between us. A valley opens a grand swath of goldenrod, and you buzz. Satch, time is chemical. I swing the car between shoulders of chicory and gravel, grateful as you sing, having swung backwards through August straight to June when those blue weeds were still blooming. The sound of a clarinet's thick, rich, wet. I hear the black wood like summer through a bell, July between us. That music can't be reproduced no matter how I swipe for the note. Sucking to soak the reed in junior high, embouchure, unmastered, I'm already more interested in the word itself's embrace than in my own lips around a mouthpiece, tongue on reed. I still listen like one who's played. I know we met. I think you snagged my breath. I think your stubble grazed my cheek. You growled some sweet warning into me before I swam through Clementine and out into my life. We were in that instant air. Then you were sand and I was heat and choosing to be. Oh. Thoroughfare. <laughs> How much do you have to do with the white porcelain figurine of a geisha my brothers and I have broken through horseplay and I have glued back together? The scratch of edged surfaces and the rough refit of their jagged planes, an uncomfortable, almost imperceptible sound. I hear it 
less over air, is that how we hear, than via the feeling of the glazed clay, its high-pitched slide that sets my teeth on edge, waving through my hands. Hearing as tremor, my first lesson in resonance, I feel you. It is the 70s and almost everything in my mother's sunken living room is white. The leather sofa, the side tables, the lamps, the walls, the pillars. All time exists simultaneously. You open a window and a breeze lifts the white shears into a billow. And now I am uncertain of the year. Almost everything in this hotel room is white. The walls, the duvet and the sheets, the cool tiled floors. I think we are in Providence. I can't stand how white everything is. Transgression, you knew I would make it onto this white page. I've come back to white and this much white is light and blinding light is death, it's invitation. Everyone knows white, a throughway to death. At Tamales Point, after miles of muscle burning sand, earth gives way to wind, the sound of surf against rock face, the muffled screech of seabirds, I hear them too in the break. A chip falls. The geisha will have an amber-colored fault line when the glue dries. We are making love at the tip of the Point Reyes Peninsula in the early aughts. And I am a girl hoping to escape a belt whipping for breaking my mother's geisha figurine. I am this woman and what is left of that child. I am both imagining the earthquake that could slice us off the edge of this cliff and trembling, wind whipped under your hand. Thank you. <laughs>